Good morning, folks. We're going to be looking at a tropical threat, solar cycle progression, a cosmological mystery, and a critical new project coming out of Japan. We also have relevant space weather to review, so let's start there and actually jump back to yesterday morning. Flare event will be on the right side. SDO eclipse by Earth blocked this from view yesterday, but GOES caught it. The CME was a very wide burst event, with peripheral components on the outskirts of the eruption that are headed for Earth. NOAA's Enlil Spiral shows that blast here. Impact is expected later tomorrow, but could arrive as late as Sunday. And while we wait for that arrival, which is forecast to produce geomagnetic storm conditions, we've had several more flares and we expect that to continue. The departing active region gave another departing goodbye this morning, and we have several incoming active regions worth noting and monitoring in the days ahead. Large complex is rotating out of view to the right while new spots are incoming from the left. More flares and CMEs are likely over the next several days. Speaking of sunspots, how about we check in on the solar cycle so far, that's sunspot number up top, solar radio flux on the bottom. The July data point is now updated and shown on the charts, and it's a new peak once again. This one rivals sunspot cycle 23. We've now solidly left the last sunspot cycle, cycle 24, in the dust. Solar maximum still peaking. Up next, our focus is drawn to the Northeast Caribbean where tropical storm conditions are ripening and formation is expected within this low into a significant storm in the days ahead. All track forecasts have it curling up into warm Gulf waters and then crossing Florida. We will have eyes on this as the situation develops. The first science article today hit six newly discovered spiral galaxies lacking dark matter. This adds to the several others they have discovered in the past, but for the first time, the scientists are actually questioning the universal paradigm of dark matter at galactic scales here. Progress in the right direction. And last but not least, folks, a university project is seeking to get better measurements of Earth's magnetic field. The CubeSat swarm is aiming to measure the strength of Earth's magnetic field with unprecedented accuracy. Fingers crossed for that, as this is the key data point we're not getting from the official sources in relation to the weakening process of the ongoing excursion. Best of luck to the team. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.